What's going on guys? This is Burrs. I'm here to show you the Taurus PT92 and how to clamp today. And how we start out is basically, there's a button on this side, you go ahead and push that button, pull down here, on this here, and off comes the slide. When taking the spring out, you want to exercise caution. So you basically want to push forward and pull up and control the spring with your thumb as there's a lot of uh, tension there. Just allow it to come back on its own. There's a lot of uh, tension in there. And at that point, you can go ahead and take the barrel out. So there's the parts we'll be working with today. I'll go ahead and take some patches, put them in the end of the barrel here, and I'll take my ballast stall put that down there and I'll spray it on the outside as well. Same with the spring. Alright, so we'll set these off to the side and let those uh, clean. On to the slide, the part where we will be starting our cleaning. Basically, take the brush, spray some cleaner on it, and go to town. Now this is a stainless steel gun so you'll much more easily be able to see the, uh, the dirt come off of this compared to say a blued gun and getting all the little spots. And you can flip your brush over and use a small side in here and use that for the rails as well. And you can do the, yeah. You can do the holes for the barrel and the guide rod. At that point, you want to take a towel and wipe off all the basic um, dirt that you can. And then we'll get to the the details when we get our uh, Q-tips out. Now we'll go ahead and take our Q-tips here. We'll go in all these finer areas and hit those up. And you can go down the rails with your Q-tip, as these rails are very open to accepting a Q-tip. You don't have to push too hard. And you can do the barrel hole at this point and the spring hole and the front here. And there you have it. We are pretty clean there. As you can see, we're seeing pretty much uh, silver. So. We'll go ahead and set that off to the side now uh, when you're satisfied with that. And we'll move our attention to the bottom of the gun. Pretty much good a bit of uh, cleaner on here. So we'll just go ahead and use what's on there. And we will go over all the different parts of the gun here. Now the nice thing about these uh, Berettas and these Tauruses is access to the rails and such. They're so big that you just get a lot of access to everything you need to clean. So at that point again, take our, our towel and just run over everything. Get it the once over and then we'll hit it with the uh, Q-tips. We'll uh, take some Q-tips and get in the finer areas here. Get 
if you want you can actually spray your q-tip with a little uh, cleaner if you're worried about getting down into these areas and just go over all the areas and make sure that you're getting your gun nice and dry so that when you apply your your oil or grease that it adheres and takes right to where you uh, you want it to alright at that point we're done with that we'll move ourselves to our barrel now again take this out take your uh, take your cloth and run over the outside of the barrel with it just to wipe off all the, the cleaner and everything that you have on there so that you can get a nice handle on it when you want to uh, use your brush so now we will throw the brush on here and we'll go ahead and give it a few passes And at that point, we'll take our brush off, and we will put, and we will put our patch runner down in there. And we'll take some patches, and we will run them through. So you take your patch. Run it through here. Give it a little twirl as you're doing that. And you just do that till you're content with the inside there. So you want to take this part off and you get further in here to clean. And go ahead and rub that off again. And then before I put that back on, what I'll do is I'll put a slight amount of lube on here. Just put a little bit of lube on there. And I'll do it also on the front here where it hinges. Now I'll go ahead and put it back in. And I'll run it up and down. Whatever access comes out here. Now let's go ahead and wipe that up. And we are good to go on that aspect. Now, the barrel's already pretty much uh, lubed very well because of the ballast stall. Now we'll go ahead and go to the rod here. And we'll just wipe that down. And we'll wipe the spring down. And those are all good to go. Now, if you want to be a little bit more adventurous, you take a little ballast stall, and I mean a little. I don't even know if you can see that amount, but you just take that and run that over your barrel. Just to give it a little bit of extra protection. Put this off to the side, and we'll go back to our slide. Now, 
same thing applies with the slide here down the rails a drip and you want to take a q-tip and go ahead and lube that slide up and you do the same for the other side and I'll do a little bit right here as well and you can also do it on the inside here of the spring and the inside of the barrel where the barrel goes and I'll take just a little bit extra here and just stick it right on the top because I know there's contact there keep it away from the firing pin though at that point I'll go ahead and go down the area here with um, another q-tip with Militech 1 or a oil on it and I'll go ahead and go down the I'll go ahead and go down the metal parts here and you want a very very light coating but anything that's metal touch of metal you want to uh, to hit that and I'll take the Militech one again put it on a q-tip again and I'll run it down the sides here just gingerly because that's where you're going to get your contact metal on metal so you just get in these areas now at this point we can go ahead and start to reassemble and what we're going to do is we're going to take the slide and we'll take the barrel the slide, or take the barrel, put the barrel back in. We will take the spring, put the spring back in. You want to hold the barrel on this side as you do this, and then click it into uh, where it goes here. So then, if you want to be extra special, you want to take a little bit of this grease. This is Milcom. You can use whatever grease you want, and just ever so slightly put that on the sides here and you want to do the same so you want to take everything and line it up and you got step one of reassembly <laughs> Uh, done. At this point, um, what you want to do is, if you see anything right here, you can go ahead and wipe that off. Um, so at this point, you basically want to push back and flip up that lever. At that point, you are done. Now, you can take a rag here and just go over everything. Make sure right here's some some grease Get that off of there just in case you have anything that's uh that's uh extra but this is a pretty easy gun to clean as well so so that's how to clean your PT-92 Taurus uh, or Breda for that matter, for that matter. So there it is, all ready to go, juiced up. Just need to get some rounds. Anyway, until next time, guys. Later.